Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at extracting the file names of files from a folder in Excel and we're going to do this with Power Query. So if your version of Excel doesn't have Power Query you're going to need to install that first up but Office 365 does. So I'm going to first of all show you what we're going to do. I've got a folder here of short videos to upload and that's where I keep all my old shorts and I want to be able to create an Excel worksheet that actually has this data data in it. So I'm going back to Excel and it's just a brand new workbook here. I'm going to click here on data and I'm going to come across here to get data. When I open that up I need to make a decision as to where I'm getting it from. So I want it from a file and I want it from a folder. So I'm going to from file and then from folder. The next thing I need to do is to actually select that folder. So it's way up the top here so let's just go and grab it. Here it is shorts and here is my videos to upload. So this is the folder I want to get all the files from. So I'll just click on it and I'll click open. Now Power Query has gone ahead and got the data but it doesn't have all the data that I want. So you can add data and you can remove it. And to do that we're going to just click here on transform data. And what I'm going to do is decide what I want. Well, I don't want this content column, so I'm just going to right click and remove it. I want my name column, but I don't need my extension because my names already have the extensions embedded into it. So I'm going to remove that column too. I don't want the date accessed. I don't want the date modified. I just want the date it was created. I don't need the folder or path because they're all from the same one. But you know what? I would like the file size. I want to know how big these files are. So I'm going to go here to attributes and I'm just going to click here because this allows me to add some other columns. So I'm going to deselect select all columns and for this one I'm going to choose size. Now the list might be incomplete so you can also select to add more in case you can't find what it is that you're looking for. Let me just deselect everything. I'm going to add size to mine. So that's all I need. I'll click OK. And here I can just come in here and double click and just change the name here. So I just want it to read size. We can format that in a minute. If you're happy with this data and you've got everything that you want, you can just click here on close and load. And that loads this into a worksheet, but it's going to do this in a live manner. So what I can do is I could select this column. I can go back to the home tab of the ribbon and I can format this. So I'm going to add commas in here, but of course we don't want to have decimal points or numbers after the decimal point. Now in terms of date created, that's not highly meaningful to me. So I'm going to just drop this down and go to short date. In actual fact, I'm going to get a custom short date. So let's go down to more number formats. Let's go to date and let's get a date format that includes the word that is the month of the year. So this is looking pretty good to me. If I save it and open it again, it's going to just appear with all the data that I need. But of course, we also need to look at the situation where we might have added something to that folder. So let's just go back to the folder. I've actually got it open here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one of these. I'm just going to copy it and paste it back in again because that will give me a second copy of that file. So now how do we update it to make sure that any files that have been removed have been removed from the list or any files that have been added to this folder will actually be added to the list. Well, we're going back to the data tab here and we're going here to queries and connections because that opens up this panel on this side of the screen. This is my query here and this is the option here to refresh. So I'm just going to click on it once and that will just refresh the list. And somewhere down here should be the extra file that I just created. And here it is here, Excel fix broken freeze heading. So there is that duplicate file that I just created. These queries are so simple to do once you've done a couple, it's going to be just simplicity itself. And it is a really good way of getting data out of a folder and into something that you can use. And of course you could just take this data and copy it into a Word file if you needed to provide it in that sort of format. You can also save it, of course, as a PDF out of Excel. 
If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.